gotta get some game volume. I understood I said I was gonna do this like weeks ago. I forgot. I'm gonna be real. College has been hectic. Is that the way to say it? Anywho, I'm gonna do a full review over the Iraq 105 Proto. I, I, I couldn't remember if it was Proto, then 105, or 105 and the Proto, but any which way. The tank itself, really good. The gun especially, as you see, hits really hard. 300 alpha per two shells. Has a quicker reload than the Barask. Slightly worse, I think, alpha being at 300. But the reload speed being so much better, and the intraclip being a little bit worse. Just, just slight bits worse. One, two. Didn't see me. Good camouflage, by the way. Also, my tune mate, Trexking, he is in a really bad position right now. Uh, oh, T49. I think, yeah, I'm right. I do load H here. Oh, he bounced. overkill anywho as you can see I, I there's not really much to comment here you're not very fast actually i will say that you're you feel kind of sluggish in comparative to like a bunch of other mediums at this tier but the gun the gun as you can see is just amazing your turret sucks don't try to get bounces on the turret this is not the tier 7 the tier 7 actually has some armor this thing doesn't This thing's armor is subjectively worse than 50% of the mediums. I think I hit this shell and then go for a reload. I can't remember. Yeah, I did. Don't know what he was shooting at. <coughs> As you can see, that gun, that's literally the tank. If you can hit your shots, you will do just fine. I'm not even joking, not even kidding. Hit your shots, you'll be fine. That's the issue. You don't feel that accurate. I don't know why, but this gun feels dirty every once in a while. I won't really miss another shell throughout the game, but the gun feels derpy half the time. Hits me with an HE. Right in the broadside. Didn't matter though. Did 3,800 damage. We got a full kill and a thousand points. I can't remember if this is an ace or not. I can't remember if this is an ace or not. I, I can probably get it pulled up. That was a nice for the time. Trux had an okay game. He's a good player, though. To the next one. It's way down here, by the way. I have so many videos I have planned that I just haven't had time for. This time I'm by myself. As you can see, on Canyon. Really good map for hold down medium tanks. And this is kind of what you want to play it as, a hold down medium. Just don't rely on that turret armor at all. You'll get a troll bounce here and there because your gun mantlet is kind of black hole-ish. Not as bad as the Barasks, whereas if you hit that gun mantlet, you're going to bounce. It's 50-50 if you're going to pen this gun mantlet or not. Also, you have a ginormous capola in terms of turret size, so you got to keep that in mind as well. That people will just snapshot that capola, and they will pen it. Have a Pergetto... Was that an M41D or an M41? M41D. I think this thing has 8 degrees or 9 degrees of gun depression too. So that's an upside. T49 fired at that. I will never understand why. 
smart man. He backed off. How in the hell did he get there so fast? I don't remember him getting there so fast. Pergetto. Let me see. High roll into low roll. But overall, 628 for the clip. That's pretty nice. 629. That was off by a digit. I did hit the Roomba blind. I don't know how much I hit him for. Uh, 350. What the fuck? High roll. High rolling. Damn. But yeah, the enemy team is... They're holding W. And getting away with it, so... That one didn't like I said, the shells will just derp every once in a while. And then I'll hit stuff like that. Didn't even spell pendejas, right? I think I go left here. Oh no, I killed a Roomba. And then I go left for the tiger. I had my issues with that tank, too. I fucking hate the Tiger one. The only tank in the game where it has a side plate that it absolutely should not have. I think I go for that Vipera here, trying to help the BK. I do. And that Progetto is the other BDA shark. I don't think he has been spotted all game, now that I think about it. That's his ammo. Nice. I think I kill him. I can't remember. There's the Pergetto. Never mind. The other T-49 does. Max roll. Don't know where that Tiger is. I think I go for a reload here. Yeah, I do. So that first game was better than this game, but that's fine. It's, it's just going to be kind of a review mixed with some gameplay, so normal. Oh, I was upset about that. I guarantee I was. If I had to guess where the Forgetto is, he's in the corner. Oh! It's just there? Oh, he's a BDHR player. Never mind. <coughs> no, I know I'm not going to need another piece of damage here. I don't think, anyways. Do I get another shot? I think I kill him. I don't think he peeks. But this is what I'm talking about. 4,100. This was better. This was a better game than the last game. I thought I did less. <laughs> oh well. But yeah, that's kind of how you want to play this thing. You want to play this kind of as a peek, dump, and then run. You want to dump your mag, and then you want to run away. That is your best way to play the Iraq 105 Proto. Hit your two shells, and then get out. Trust me, it works. Honestly, the penetration is not that great, sitting at 201. Your premium is good, sitting at 260. I still recommend running Cali just for the extra standard pen. Like I said, your gun's kind of derpy. You will miss shells that you 100% should hit. Upgrade your accuracy as best as possible. Defense system. You're light, you won't be ramming things. Improved assembly, because you don't have armor to begin with, why up the armor? Enhanced tracks, because your tracks are huge. You will get tracked by everything. Engine accelerator, because you already turned like a Beyblade, there's no reason to turn faster. Your view range is good, make it better. You want as much of your range as possible. Consumable delivery system, and go to the armor. Like I said, you have okay turret armor sitting at like 140 apparently, but that's at the gun mantlet. That's right behind the gun. Everywhere else is sitting about 80 millimeters of armor. 
That little bulge coming out from the main turret is the main part of the 140 meters of armor. So you want to make people hit that. But most of the time they're going to hit either that this gigantic cupola on top or just the main part of the round, the turret. Your whole armor is awful. That Them flat parts can get bounces, but most of the time they'll get overmatched because you have only, what, 90 on that. Meaning if they aim down on it, they're just going to pound. Your gun is amazing. Your gun is the selling point. 16 seconds, 2.5 second reload in between two shells in the mag or 300 alpha a piece. And you have good HE. And decent HE pen set at 56 mils of pen. You're okay in terms of speed. Your overall speed is good. Getting up to speed is the problem. Your acceleration is not great. Its mobility is good. Acceleration overall is not great. Your whole turn rate is amazing, and your turret turn rate is amazing. Overall, I'd say it's a really good tank. Really good tank. I'd say about like, what would be a good one for this one? Uh, eight and a half out of ten. Really, really solid. Four consumables and stuff, by the way, I almost forgot. There's no reason to run speed boosts. It's already quick enough. And then, boom, boom, boom. It's just super basic. You could trade this out for this because this does help quite a bit. And this thing does actually, honestly, I would. I would on this. Remove this and get this. Because if you get hit in this front left side, like right through that track there, your gas tank is on this side. You will get lit on fire every other shell from that side. I honestly would run it because of that. It may be more expensive than this, and it might like be worse overall, giving you a 16 second reload, but... But I've seen people do this, where they just go this, and then have this sitting on there for absolute maximum DPM and accuracy. I've seen that. I've had a few players in the clan tell me they do it like this to where they can have absolute maximum accuracy. I'm like, I'd rather go for pen on this one. Because this one needs it on terms of the standard rounds. So, my thoughts on Lewis or Project or the Iraq 105 Pro. Really good. The video I'm going to do next is probably over the Lewis or probably do a video over this. I've been meaning to do one over this. This thing is insane right now. But this tank is really good. If you have not went through the Murat line, this is one of the highlights of the line. This is the third best tank in the line. The first best, I would say, is this. Followed by your tier 7 counterpart in this. And it's close between those two. And then the Iraq falls behind a little bit. And then by far the worst is the tier 10. Is the tier 10. The Murad is just awful in my opinion. I just don't like it. There's a few reasons why. But I'll explain that when I get to the Murad. Hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a nice day.